Today we're going to talk about the most impressive shot in golf, the spinner. But before we learn the spinner, the most important shot to learn to learn the spinner is the basic draw chip. It's the basic draw chip because the least amount of, there's the least amount of things that happen in the back of the right wrist. Uh, to hit the basic draw chip, I like the ball in the middle of the stance, slightly open stance, hand slightly ahead, club back a little inside, swing it a little bit out. We're looking for something where it's a little bit longer and a little bit slower. And you can see on that one, it was 14 degree left spin. That was a pretty good shot. 21 yard carry, 4,100 RPM of spin. I'm gonna hit one more. I'm gonna put a little less draw on that one. A little less draw, 7.7, 19 yard carry, 4,100 RPM of spin. Now, why we need to work on the draw basic chip before we work on the cut is because there's less right wrist movement when you're hitting the shot. The back of the right wrist is a little bit bent at address. It goes back a little in. You hold that angle, and when you go through, you're not releasing and rotating that club face too much. When you're hitting a cut spin, you're doing a lot of releasing, a lot of releasing while you're trying to maintain that ball contact. Now, when you're trying to hit a cut spinner, what you don't want is a golf ball that glances. Now, let's just talk about how do we define a spinner? Like, what's a spinner? Anything that, that flies at least 25 to 30 yards and having at least 150 to 200 RPMs of spin per yard of carry. So for easy math, if you fly the ball 30 yards and you have 6,000 RPMs of spin, that's ripping spin. Now the key is for the, for the ball to actually spin, you want the ball to launch high enough. When the ball starts launching high, you don't want it to flop. And that's where you get the glance. If you make good ball contact, the ball will stick to the face. It'll launch pretty low. That low, low launch number we're looking for is anything above 33 degrees and with the same spin per yard carry, that would be considered sick. All right, I'm gonna hit my 60. This is gonna be more of a cut. My ball position is gonna be forward. Club face is gonna be open. I'm gonna aim left. I'm gonna swing a little left and I'm gonna let the club head go. Oh my gosh, that's absolute, watch that, it's gonna back up. Did you see that? 8,200 RPMs of spin, 26 yard carry, I've never done that in my life. Oh my God, how is that possible? Maybe it's the good lie. Well, you, you know what, that's half the battle. You need a good lie, you need a good club. I'm gonna hit one more and then we're gonna discuss the club in a second. Uh-oh, watch this one. That's unbelievable of how much that ball spun. Now that's a really cool shot. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about my club. This is an SM8, 60 degree. It's an A grind, but it's actually got, it says 61, it's actually a touch under 61. The lie angle is 64 degrees. The length is 35 and a quarter inches. It's a dynamic gold S300. And the swing weight is just a touch over D4. Now, how do I know that? How am I so, in I've been using these specs for over 20 years and you've got to hit the right, you've got to have the right equipment. You've got to have the right golf ball. They've got to be new. You've got to have the right turf. It's really hot and dry today. And all those factors play when it comes to hitting the, the spinner. But the most important thing is work on the basic draw before you work on the most impressive shot in golf. 